beware with this question. This question is not anything to do with the formula for the volume of a prism. This is to do with similar shapes. And what you should realize about similar shapes is if, if the length scale factor is k, so no, in other words, if lengths are multiplied by k, the area scale factor will be k squared, and the volume scale factor will be k cubed, meaning that any lengths are multiplied by k, any areas will be multiplied by k squared, any volumes will be multiplied by k cubed. So let's have a look at what we've got. Uh, prism P is 12 centimetres across. Prism Q, which is similar, is 18 centimetres across. And from, from that, I can get what's called the length scale factor. And the length scale factor is just going to be, if I'm going from this one to this one, is just going to be 18 over 12. And 18 over 12 is 1.5, which means that the surface area, I need to find the area scale factor. So in other words, all areas are going to be multiplied by this area scale factor. The area scale factor is just going to be the length scale factor squared. And if we do 1.5 squared, it comes out as 2.25, which means that any areas are going to be multiplied by 2.25. So they tell me that the total surface area of prism P, this one, is 544 centimetres squared. So if I want to find the surface area of this one, it's just going to be 544 multiplied by 2.25, and that comes out as 1,224 square centimetres.